Well, a break from the rain and storms this morning, but more chances of rain ahead, possibly, Frank. You're in now with a look at our full eight day forecast. That's right, Laura. Yeah, we have uh, quite a few more chances for rain uh, even before the end of the weekend. Look at this live shot downtown right now. It's a rainy one. We're talking about some heavy rain at times rolling through the metro right now. Temperatures around 70 so far here in the metro. 69 the reading at the airport. Dew point is at 66. We have a lot of moisture in the air currently at 90%. Winds are out of the south pressure 29.79. Live Super Doppler HD. Most of the rain now off to the east of Interstate 35. Back uh, to the east of Mason City. Pretty much just follows the interstate all the way down through the metro. We'll take you on a closer look. And you'll notice uh, that, uh, again, just off to the east of the metro rolling through Newton back toward Grinnell, Montezuma. Eventually uh, it will be in your neck of the woods and right now on the western side of Pella. There is a severe thunderstorm watch in effect until 9 o'clock to the east of the metro now. The weather service has been sort of tapering this back at one time. It did include most of central Iowa. We've been getting the rain today. Look at this. Humboldt's about uh, seven tenths of an inch of rain. Same for Fort Dodge, 6,500s for Fontenelle. Jefferson checks in at about six tenths of an inch. Riverwoods just over three quarters of an inch of rain. This is all out ahead of a frontal system that's sliding on through an area of low pressure in the Dakotas. The cold front, though, going to be sliding through as we head throughout the day on Sunday, bringing us another chance for rain and even some severe weather. Temperatures around the region right now, notice it's a little cooler behind that. Uh, uh, rain, uh, again, in places that the rain has fallen in the 60s, out ahead of that front, temperatures in the low to mid 80s. Here's future cast, shows that frontal system rolling through as we head throughout the afternoon hours on Sunday. It'll sort of turn stationary and then thunderstorms firing along that front as we head throughout uh, the evening hours on Sunday. Some of those storms could be severe. Low pressure system uh, trailing that frontal system and around that low pressure systems where we could be seeing some pretty good chances for thunderstorms. Let's break it down from the statewide perspective. Futurecast doing a great job of painting where the rain will be by about uh, 7 o'clock. Out of the metro after uh, about uh, uh, 9, 10 o'clock tonight out of uh, central Iowa completely. Sunday will start the day dry with some sunshine. Then as we head throughout the afternoon, notice 4 o'clock, storms starting to fire off to the northwest. Here in the metro by about 7 o'clock. Tomorrow evening. Now, some of these storms could pack a punch. We're talking some large hail, damaging winds, even a few isolated tornadoes. And for that reason, the Storm Prediction Center has issued a slight risk of severe weather for central Iowa, or excuse me, a moderate risk here in central Iowa, slight risk off to the north again for that large hail, damaging winds, even a few isolated tornadoes. Here are those storm threats. We're concerned with even more rain, leading to some flash flooding. Uh, a lot of wind possible as well tomorrow, especially if that line of storms develops and sort of bows out. We also are talking about just a moderate risk for some tornadoes later on tomorrow afternoon. 69 degrees tonight, mostly cloudy. The storm's coming to an end. Winds out of the south, 10 to 20. Tomorrow, a very hot and humid day to start things out. And then again, those storms later on in the afternoon. It'll be a warm and muggy one. Winds out of the southwest pumping in some of that moisture. Could be gusty at times, up near 20 miles per hour. Three day forecast look at Monday. The rain sticks around. Could be talking another couple of inches of rain by Monday, 86 degrees. Tuesday, 79. Wednesday, that frontal system passes through, and we're talking about just some nice weather to end out uh, the work week. And uh, the 4th of July on Friday, temperatures in the mid 80s.